hold on. There we go. So good morning, yogis. I'm so, so, so glad that you're here. Um, I am going to start. I uh, love having my crystals on my mat. So all the grounding crystals this morning. And I'm going to ship those off to the side. So grounding crystals are really great um, to keep us connected, to keep us grounded, to keep us present. Um, and with everything that's going on, we want to continue to stay as present as possible. So this class, this particular class, is going to focus on expansion of the lungs, grounding, and it's going to be very soft and gentle. So you're going to start with your palms down, face down on your knees to ground, to stay connected. And then close your eyes. Clearing space in your mind. Clearing space in your body. Clearing space in your heart. Maybe continuing to take that time to settle and create space in your living room. <laughs> And then hydrating. This is going to be really important throughout practice, even if we're going really slow. So you're going to continue to keep those eyes closed for another three rounds of breath. Exhale through the mouth. And then bring both hands over your heart. Feeling the rhythm of your heartbeat. Set an intention for this practice. And so my intention throughout the year was, or has been joy. 2020 kicked off quite a bang, personally, and then professionally, and just the world at large has started to challenge that intention. But I'm holding on to it. And someone asked me a couple of weeks ago, what is my sankalpa, which is like this overarching theme in our world. Mine is revival. Mm. So if you have an intention, a word for the year, just hold on to it for a minute. I'm going to bring those palms down to meet your knees. And then find three neck rolls here. And three in the opposite direction. And come back towards neutral. You're going to keep those palms on your knees and tuck your chin in towards your chest. So you really want to feel that intention through the back of the neck, through the cervical spine. If this doesn't feel like it's enough, you can take your fingertips, interlock them behind you and draw the elbows gently in. You're not applying a lot of pressure, you're just allowing the elbows to hang heavy. Now, if you haven't already, join us here, interlocking the fingertips behind you. As you inhale, open the heart, open the chest, expand the arm. Exhale, round. Inhale, expand. Exhale, fold. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Inhale to neutral. Palms extend up towards the sky. 
And as you exhale, you're gonna drop the right palm down, the left palm comes back across. You can look towards the earth or you can look up towards the sky. So whatever feels most comfortable in your neck at this moment. Inhale to the sky and exhale all the way over to the other side. Reach up high. And exhale, palms to your knees. You're going to find a little bit of rotation here through the hips. You can add in your shoulders if you want. And switch direction. And then come back towards neutral. You're going to cross your ankles in the opposite direction. Come sweep up towards the sky. And as you exhale, you're gonna to twist over towards the right. Finding your breath. So maybe at this point, instead of just having a regular breath, you're starting to transition in and out through the nose. Almost like you're fogging up the glass in a mirror, but your mouth is closed. Reach up towards the sky. And as you exhale, twist. You're going to come back in towards neutral. And then if you're sitting up on a seat, you can extend off of it. So I'm just going to push my bolster away for a moment. And you're going to shift your left foot in and your right foot out to expand. Now, if you have a strap, if you, um, most of you are at home, if you have a tie or a piece of clothing, I'm not gonna take my shirt off right now. <laughs> I thought about it for a second. <laughs> so if you have like a sweatshirt, you can wrap it around your toes. And then lift your heart up towards the sky. So you want to feel that, instead of that slouched back, you want to feel your shoulders back. Lift the heart up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, just start to hinge forward. So actually, come all the way up. I'm going to be my teacher Mary for a second. So my teacher Mary always says, I love that she does this, right? She goes, bend your knees, touch your toes. You found them. Nobody gives a shit. <laughs> If you actually touch them when you extend your leg, what I care about is that your back stays nice and tall and straight. Your long leg stays nice and tall and straight and you just hinge forward. So if you reach your toes, awesome. If not, also awesome. Find your breath. Inhaling through the nose, exhale through the nose. So just drop here, maybe releasing any tension through the cervical spine, through the top of the neck. Remembering that your neck is a part of your spine, so trying to stay long throughout the entire body. Draw the heart up towards the sky. You're going to take the blanket or the strap off if you have one. Reach the palms up towards the sky. And exhale, you're going to twist to the opposite direction. So bringing your right palm down to your left knee, rinse through the belly. You're gonna come back in towards neutral. And then take your right foot in to meet the left. The little yogi in me is a bit confused because I'm so accustomed to teaching to a, an audience, to people, that um, I'm actually using my left and my right. It's a little confusing instead of mirroring. So you're gonna take your strap, if that's what you're using again. Shift the heart up towards the sky, wiggle around a little bit. Lengthen the heart up nice and high here. And as you exhale again, just hinging forward. So remembering that movement can be anywhere, right? You can find movement when you are at home. These are movements that you can do on the couch. It's nothing super intense in this particular sequence. So finding that maybe you're using a throw blanket or a throw pillow for your bolster. 
maybe you're using your sweatshirt for your strap. Maybe some of the crystal recommendations that I have for you, like this intention of grounding, especially for those of you that have kids. Right now we're still allowed to be outside. So go outside and get some rocks. And I'm not kidding. Um, my brother always jokes with me and says stuff like, why do you collect rocks? <laughs> um, but that's literally what they are, right? It's the vibration, the energy of your world. And each of them represents something different. But I live in Beverly, I live right near the beach. So if you're collecting sea rocks or if you're collecting literally just rocks in your driveway, that's a really grounded, intentional space to be in, especially with your kiddos. You're gonna lift the heart up towards the sky. Both palms rise, reach high here. And exhale, twist over to the left. So you're gonna draw your Left arm, twist it over towards the right, draw the left arm to the right knee, and rinse here through the belly, please. You're gonna come back in towards neutral, and then bring your left foot in to meet the right. You're gonna interlock the fingertips around the tippy tops of the toes. Take a breath in, so lift the heart up towards the sky. And then the elbows draw out, the elbows hinge out, drop the head, head. You're gonna shift the heart up towards the sky. I'm gonna do a quick hip opener. So you're gonna take your left foot in, the right foot comes up and across. Now, at first, this might be what it looks like, Ooh, way up here. Eventually, I want you to think about drawing your knee so that the knee is stacked over the foot. It might take some adjusting in the hips. You might still be way up here. If you are still way up here and you have a block at home, you can place the block underneath you. If you have a throw pillow, you can just kind of rest it here. You should feel this in your psoas, so right in the back of the hip here. You're going to flex your feet, so flex, don't point. And then reach the fingertips out in front of you, take a breath in, walk slightly forward. Again, walking as far forward as your body is asking you to. And it might not be that far, and that's okay too, right? So just being in your own body. In every single class that we teach at the Shala, it's really about the intentionality of the pose. So are you present? Are you here? Are you doing what feels good? Do that. So we are just, as teachers, we're just guides. That's all. Take a deep breath. Exhale, settle a little bit deeper here. My teacher, Cindy, uh, was teaching her class a workshop all about yin last month, or the middle of last month. And my mom took the class and she said that Cindy described the fascia around our muscles as cobwebs. Right? They get caught around these specific places in the muscles. And I've heard it described as that. I've also heard it described as like the membrane of an orange. And so it happens when we stay still, right? So many of us sit on computers and write all day. Um, when you stay too still for too long and you don't have quite as much movement in the body, the fascia just grows, right? The cobwebs just go all around your body. You can shift the fingertips up towards the sky. We're going to solve the cobweb problem in a moment. Bring the palms to the leg and just kind of rock here a little side to side. You could bring the right palm behind you and find oof, space here. And oof, drop the right leg down. The left foot comes up and over. Oof, or not symmetrical beings. So you might be a little tighter on one side. And then take a deep breath in, lean as far forward as your body's asking you to in this moment. And so when we sit for too long, the fascia just starts to grow, like it goes all over that particular space in the muscle. And when we come into something like an intense hip opener, you start to feel it just peeling back so that you're opening and exposing into the muscles so you can feel that relief, you can feel that space in the body. Now with everything that's going on in the world, right now, what's being recommended by literally every single person is movement. 
And so we need movement in order to make sure that there's no fascia happening, that there's no buildup, right? We want to continue to expand. And it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to solve everything, but movement and concentrating in this space of wellness and positivity and love is going to help us all feel better. So no matter where you are, no matter what vibes you're feeling right now, taking a moment to breathe, taking a moment to open should feel pretty good in the body. And if it doesn't, that's okay too. Sometimes it's nice to be under your weighted blanket for a few days. <laughs> but I'm here just in case you need me. You're gonna take another full round of breath here. And then walk those fingertips back towards your hips. You're gonna unwind. So just draw the feet here. And windshield wiper from side to side. You're gonna extend the feet nice and long. Wiggle the hips a little side to side. Don't ever pull your bum away from your uh, hips, away from your sits bones. You need your bum. It's very important. You need your hamstrings. You can wiggle. Reach those palms up towards the sky. And exhale again. Reach down towards your toes. If you touch them, great. If not, also great. Bring the palms down to the sides. Drop the head heavy between your shoulders. Connect to your breath. And draw the heart up towards the sky. Press your ankles again or come to whatever comfortable, simple seat works for your body, works for you. Tuck my knees underneath me this time. And then bring your hands to your heart. Close your eyes. Now, in my particular yoga world, me as a student, as a teacher, as a practitioner, I love something called mantra. And so mantra is my way to meditate. Um, I'm not really good at sitting still. Anybody who knows me really well in person knows that I'm constantly fidgeting and moving. Um, that's why all my classes have a lot of movement. <laughs> um, and so mantra for me is this way to be grounded, to stay, right? To, to be in presence. And it's also a way to vibrate. And so in anything, right, in any chanting, we chant, we vibrate, we release through the throat, through the mouth, through the, the lungs, through the heart. And as we're doing that, we're literally shifting the vibration of our own bodies, our own structure, but also the bodies of people that are around us, that love us, that know us, um, and also the bodies in the community. And so if you are to do a simple chant like OM, most people know OM, OM. If you're to do that, you're going to be able to shift the vibration of not only yourself and the people that are in your home with you, but also potentially your neighbors, even if they don't hear you. It's just this intentionality of shifting of perspective. And so the chant that I'm gonna offer out to you all, because we're not gonna have a traditional Shavasana during this particular small practice, is Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. So I'll chant it for you. And if you really get in the mood, if you really want to kind of stick to it, I can write it in the, I don't know if I can write in comments below. I think I can. Um, I can write it somewhere. I can either put it on our Facebook, Instagram, etc. But it's Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. And so Ganapataye is um, a way to salute to Ganesha. And Ganesha is the remover of obstacles. So it's a really great way for us to release toxicity, let go of anything that we don't need energetically, physically, emotionally, health-wise, et cetera, um, and to help us kind of shift our perspective so that we don't have any obstacles in front of us. And sometimes, I've said this before in my classes, sometimes when we chant to, Gane to Ganesha, he's like, cool, I'm gonna give you a ton of obstacles, obstacles to get through. And then I'm going to shift you towards a higher ground. And so just being aware that chanting and vibration brings in anything that you're intending. So if you want to get rid of something, you want to release toxicity, this is a great place to be. So you're going to bring your hands to your heart. Actually, and have you bring your hands open this time. So bring them down to your knees. Close your eyes. <clears throat> Take a deep breath in. Maybe a breath out through your mouth. 
Om Gam Ganapatai Namaha 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 Om Bring your hands to your heart. Bring your hands to your heart. May you embody love. Hands to your lips may speak truth, and hands to your third eye may perceive kindness and wonder. Namaste. Thank you guys so, so, so much. So, 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 so much.